Hello, and welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm. I'm Renee Fry, and I am so glad that you're here. I love all things French country and cottage style. I love entertaining my friends and family with beautiful tablescapes and easy and delicious recipes. I love a good room remodel and DIY projects. I hope that you will join me here on Peacock Ridge Farm Elegant Country Living. So glad that you're here. Come on in. Welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm, where we celebrate elegant country living. This week's episode, The Splendor of Fall, is a must watch for anyone who loves French country decor and delicious seasonal cuisine. Rustic Cottage Elegant Fall Mantle is packed with all things fall. You are absolutely going to love it. Next, we're gonna start your culinary journey with us as we learn how to make a mouthwatering sweet potato salad roasted to perfection with pecans, crisp apples, and maple vinaigrette. Make it irresistible. Then indulge in the best peach cobbler recipe that is going to satisfy your sweet tooth and delight your taste buds. But that's not all. Finally, we will show you how to set a beautiful fall table, combining rustic elements with elegant details to create the perfect ambiance for your next family gathering or dinner party. Please follow us on PeacockRidgeFarm.com and our social media channels, including Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and YouTube, where you can also subscribe to our channel and receive updates on future episodes. Join us at Peacock Ridge Farm, where elegant country living comes to life. Today, I am so excited to show you my mantle decor. I recently redid the cottage with the batten board and I love the way that it looks. It is so warm and cozy and I just know that you are going to love it too. The first thing that I did was to tie these cute little wreaths to my fall table lamps. I purchased both the wreaths and the tabletop lamps from Amazon. Head over to my store to check them out. I just love the way the wreaths add extra layer to the lamps. In my hurricane candles, I have added some oak leaves to add yet a little bit more natural decor and it didn't cost me a thing. I picked these oak leaf branches from my yard and decoratively placed them in my hurricane candle holders around the candles, adding the perfect green contrast. I 
I then tied some gorgeous green velvet ribbon around the stem of the hurricane candles to give even more layers of contrast. Here I am shopping in my own backyard. I had an abundance of this gorgeous eucalyptus just waiting to be added to my mantle. And the best thing is, it didn't cost a thing. How cool is that? With a pair of pruning shears, I carefully cut different lengths of eucalyptus branches and tucked them throughout the mantle, making sure to tuck them in securely so they stayed put. I just love how everything on the mantle is coming together. Adding some layering details like these rustic woven pumpkins and these cute little white decorative pumpkins, this mantle is really taking shape. With the last finishing touches added, I use these amazing flameless candles without the worry of matches or fire. I love the added lighting from the tabletop lamps as well. I use more of the flameless candles in this rustic floor lantern to tie everything together. Decor does not have to be complicated. Use what you have. Use greenery from outdoors. Use things from the rest of your house. I call it shopping your house. So you do not have to buy a lot new each season. Here I have used eucalyptus from my yard. You can also get this from your neighbor's yard or you can get it from the grocery store. And then the fall pumpkins are pumpkins that I have had for years now, and I just reuse them again and again and again in a different way each time. And look at these. Aren't these amazing? I actually found these on a tree while I was out for my walk last week, and I just fell in love with them. And I think that they are the perfect addition to this fall decor. And there you have it. A beautiful rustic cottage mantle with touches of gorgeous greenery, timeless elegance, and bringing all the splendor of fall indoors. I hope you have found some inspiration to get out there, find your own pieces of rustic decor, and create your own masterpiece. salad and it has all the flavors that you love for fall. Come on, I'll show you. 
For this recipe, you're going to need salt and pepper, some kale, an apple, feta cheese, some walnuts or pecans, some dried cranberries, garlic, sweet potatoes, maple syrup, olive oil, and apple cider vinegar. Come on, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is peel and dice my sweet potatoes. And now I'm just going to dice my sweet potatoes in to small bites. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees and now I'm just going to put my sweet potatoes into a baking dish I'm going to give them a good drizzle of some olive oil and put on some salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to pop them in the oven for about 25 minutes. The sweet potatoes are done roasting so while they are cooling, I'm going to go ahead and start on the rest of the salad ingredients. I am going to start by cutting the ribs out of the kale. The ribs get really hard and they don't taste good. And now I'm going to give it a fine chop. And now I'm just going to chop up my nuts. If you've never seen these nut choppers before, they are amazing. My mom and grandma always use them and it makes it so easy. And now I'm just going to core and dice my apple. And now I'll add my cranberries. 
This combination of flavors is so perfect for fall. For the vinaigrette, I have already added my minced garlic, and now I will add some Dijon mustard. Some apple cider vinegar. Some olive oil. Some maple syrup. and some salt and pepper. Homemade salad dressings are delicious and you always know what's in them. And now I'm just going to give it a good stir. And I always taste my dressings before I serve them. Perfect. I have added my feta cheese and my apples. And now I'm going to add my roasted sweet potatoes. and then give this salad a quick stir. This is a really hearty salad. I'm going to go ahead and put my dressing on it. let the salad soak it up. This salad is going to be so good. And there you have it, an easy and delicious roasted sweet potato and kale salad that is chock full of all's fall's goodness. You are absolutely going to love this recipe. Today, I am sharing my favorite recipe for a fresh and delicious peach cobbler. Come on, I'll show you. The first thing that I'm going to do is butter my pan so that nothing sticks. I'll set that aside. Then I have my peaches and I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. A tablespoon of dry tapioca. A dash of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla, I'm going to give that a quick stir. And I'm going to put it right in the bottom of my pipe. I'm 
going to put a few little pats of butter all over my peaches. In total, this is about a tablespoon. And now I'm going to make my cake batter. For the cake batter, I am using a half of a cup of butter, and I softened that. I have one cup of granulated sugar. I have one and a half cups of flour, and I am using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one flour. It's gluten-free. Putting a half of a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of coconut milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir. This makes a thick dough. And now I'm just going to put dollops all over the top of my peaches. And now I'm just going to pop it into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. I wish that you could smell how wonderful this smells. This pink cobbler is best served warm right out of the oven. with a dollop of ice cream. It's going to be perfect. And there you have it. Doesn't this look amazing? I can hardly wait to dig in. Today I am going to share with you a beautiful, neutral, well, sort of, tablescape with lots of natural texture. You are going to love it. Come on, I'll show you. The first thing that I did was to lay out my natural woven runner. And now I'm adding my leather chargers. I love the warmth and character that this adds as the base. Next is my white dinner plates. And now I am adding my magnolia garlands. I just love them. Magnolia garlands are so versatile. You can use them any time of the year and they make a great base for any tablescapes. Next, I'm adding in some grapevine pumpkins. Don't you just love them? 
And next come the faux fruit that I place around the table. I've also added in some glittered eucalyptus that I just love, and it adds that sparkle. This table is really coming together. Now I'm adding some gorgeous candlesticks to add elegance and height to the center. And now I'm going to tuck in some white sunflowers. All of these sunflowers are really making this tablescape come together, don't you think? And then I added a bit more eucalyptus stems throughout the fruits and sunflowers. I just love the rustic and natural layered elements coming together. And now I'm going to add my cloth napkins to each place setting. I laid my salad plates on top of my cloth napkins. Next is my vintage water goblets. and some vintage water glasses as well. Next is my vintage silverware. Now you can really see this table is starting to build. Now I'm just going to add a delicate oak leaf to each plate. and then top it off with a sweet little white pumpkin. And to finish this natural fall tablescape off, I'm lighting my candles for a little bit of ambiance. And that's it. Didn't it turn out beautiful? I wish that you were here to join me. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always enjoy our time together. Please be sure to follow me on my blog at PeacockRidgeFarm.com, on all of my social medias, but especially here on YouTube. Make sure you push that follow button. Blessings to you.